What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I have another great video for you. You can see we're at the sleep doctor. What am I doing? Well, we're building twin loft beds in our house for the kids with a bottom full bunk. So three beds. So if any of you are looking to build a loft bed or a loft bed concept for your 10 by 10 or your 10 by 20 or your 10 by 15 room, stay tuned because this is what we're doing. checking to see if they're not warped. What's the plan? What are we building? A what? A bunk bed. A bunk bed. Combined with a loft bed. You're doing what? A bunk bed combined with a loft bed. We're doing construction screws. Two inches, two and a half. Ooh, 24 bucks. Ooh. What boards do we got? What are these? Two by fours. Two by fours. What are these? Two by sixes. Two by sixes. What are these? One by three. One by threes. And then? Uh, two by two. Two by two and a bunch of screws. And what are these for? For the chicken coop. For the chicken coop. What do we got to get now? Nothing else. We managed to fit all this wood into this lovely Equinox. Cozy over there? No. What can you see on me? Anything? Your hairy legs. My hairy legs? Look at your hairy legs. I don't have hairy legs. We have 10 two by sixes. What are we using the 10 two by sixes for? These are gonna be the left and right rails and the legs of the loft beds. Uh, we have 16 two by fours. These are gonna be the safety rails. Uh, also the ladders are gonna be made out of these for the beds themselves. Then we have 10 uh, one by threes. What are these for? These are for the mattress uh, slats. Um, so the mattress can sit on them. And then we have four two by twos. The two by twos are going to be the brace for the slats. Let me know if you have any good experience with this Diablo 12 inch fine finish blade. I'm gonna test it out, uh, but it was 60 bucks the most I spent on a blade itself. So let's see what this can do. There's this website I found, something like collegeloftbeds.com, something like that. I'll include it in the description. But an average ceiling height is around eight feet. So if you got above eight feet, um, either nine or 10 foot ceilings, this would be a little bit different. But I'm building this based on an eight foot ceiling. And you can see our space. We're going with twins with eight foot ceilings running an L. And then down below, we may fit one of these folds. Based on eight foot ceilings, we're gonna go with legs that are 72 inches tall. So I need to cut one, two, three, four, five, six legs at 72 inches. Six legs at 72, four rails at 75. So we're going to screw the rails in. The top of the rail has to be 58 and a half. So I know find it's 50. And 50 and a half. I know Stop it. 50 and a half. Move. 58 and a half. Where is it? I know where is it? Jackpot. Where is Just it? Mark it once. Right there. Good. Two by fours will be the support brackets for the rails and the legs, but also the ladder. Um, so I'm gonna need 16 of these at 44 inches. I brought my legs and my rails down here because I'm not gonna cut upstairs on the new carpet. So you're gonna need a jigsaw. You can't see it. Oh, there's Mr. Jigsaw. You're gonna need a jigsaw because this two by four is gonna be laid in on this two by six. So take your excess two by four that you cut, trace it, and then cut it out with a jigsaw. The top inlay here's 58 and a half. Here's 55. So you take 55 divided by four that gives you 13 
and three quarters. So here we have 13 and three quarters, 13 and three quarters, 13 and three quarters, and it all matches up with the ladder. So now I'm gonna do that on every single one and cut them out. It's gonna take some time. how well a 2x4 will fit in this nubarific jigsaw hack. Look at that. That is straight, isn't it? Is that level? Let's take a level. Hack a no. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take these chisels, square these up, so my little 2x4s will fit in nice and level. Boom, baby. Let's see. Boom, baby. We have the supporting base or the supporting two by fours for the, either the ladder or to support the legs. Check it, check it. And now we need to put up the safety rails. Hey, so we Dad, know. We got a problem. What? This is only 72. 72. That's what we need. That's a 75. Oh, that's 75. Yeah. So these rails are 75. The legs are 72, these are 75, so we need to cut four two by fours at why, why four? 75 why, inches, because we're gonna have one here yeah. and one here on both sides. So one, two, That's it. That's, three, four. That's four there. Let's go do it, four at 75. Our safety rails set up 42 two and a half. yeah 42 and a half so 42 and a half will now connect the safety rail from here over to here on the back side there's where they're going to climb up so we put the two by four up top to give us the gap for the ones over here and then we measured half the distance here to center which is five put this two by four the bottom rail in the center and of course make sure everything is level use a level for everything otherwise it won't come out look at that level 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 let's go over here level now we have the entryway from the ladder up build a little guard here so this was left over two by four. I think these are 21. Then we cut a vertical. And then you can see we put pocket screws in these to connect them back here. Same thing. So now what we're on to is the slats for the bed. This will get it more stable as well and then level out. So we're gonna put a two by two right here um that the slats will sit on we'll screw that right in to this two by six we measured from the leg 58 and a half inches up to this rail right here so we have the mark cutters hold the other mark so i bought one by threes but based on that measurement i think the two by fours are going to work best so we're going to go with two by fours as our slats. So I might have to get some more and return the one bys, one by threes. Slat rail one, is it level Carter? Yes. It is level? Yes. Yes, okay, so let's put a screw right here in the center. Go for it. Whoa, there you go. Show me. Leveled. Yeah! Leveled. Yeah! And leveled. Yes! Five. Sir, the distance from this rail mm -hmm. to this rail mm -hmm. is 37 and 7 eighths. What? We're going to need some of those.
you're not even that close to the ceiling. Oh crap, you are. You're pretty high. All right, so we went with the two by fours. It measured up perfect. You see it's sitting flush. The mattress will sit on this. These are distance three inches apart. How many do we have in here, Carter? We got yeah. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Took eleven, forty or thirty-seven and seven eighths, two by fours, but it's complete. Now we're on to the second stage. Mattress. One done. Mattress. Yep. Okay. I got smart this go around working on the second bed to these lofts and cut out those two by four pockets on a table. You know, a table goes a long ways when you really need one. Here's the two legs that I cut out. Unfortunately, I only have enough for three um, support beams for the ladder. That is gonna go here, all the way across with the rails. Hopefully not cover up too much of the window, but I'm going to finish tomorrow. beds are on hold and this isn't normal laura is driving herself to the <laughs> hospital i'm not even driving but we're about to do this twins like twin loft beds you ready for this huh i'm ready ready <laughs> this van about sums up our twin life look at that some just need a car some need a van we just need a bus. Here's one problem. Not a problem, but just make sure you watch out for it. You know, always check, obviously, for everything to be level. Then you want to remeasure your width. So I put up these L brackets to support the loft section here, the bed. You can see we're about 40 inches on this back end. And then on the end towards the windows, I'm 41. The other bed's 41. So I'm off an inch. If you look, the leg is inset. Uh, an inch and a half over here it's not inset so this has to come over an inch and a half so I can put up the L to support this right here which means this has to go even though I got it secure Dad, it's got to go over racing? two and a half inches Dad, do you know it's racing? no <gasps> where right there I got the rails in. Next is the slat brackets, and those are 56 and three quarters on the side rails. We're gonna measure those and put the slat brackets in, and then it's home stretch, cut the slats. We gotta do 37 and 7 eighths, so we're doing the slats, and that's about almost all we have left on this, besides enclosing the end. So it takes 12 of these 37 and 7 eighths, two by fours to make the slats. And then you take two of the leftover, uh, it's a little less than 21 inches to make the entrance to the bed and that's what we did over there this is the last step we got the twin l loft beds built uh next one we want to see if a twin could fit down here fits perfect so what we're going to do is we're going to put some two by fours and make a little frame Here's the frame for the full size mattress so we're not going with the box spring 
So we are gonna have to do slats similar to this. Uh, the length here is a little bit longer because a full is about 52 inches. So you can see it's extended roughly about six inches. So I had to get more wood. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna run one two by four through the center at 26 inches. And then we'll run 12 on each side, screw it in. But we're not gonna have the support structure uh, for the slats, we're just gonna screw in from the back of the two by four. So that completes our build on the twin L loft beds and a bottom full. I appreciate you all for watching. And I know you probably got a lot of questions. And number one is how much does this cost or cost me to build? So the grand total without the mattresses, it was $480. We do have to buy two twin full mattresses where we saw them for about $250 a piece. So grand total all in for us was $1,000, which if you're gonna gift your family member, your kids, uh, it's not so bad. Or if you want the experience to build with your kids or by yourself, it was pretty fun. Uh, screws, so we went and bought uh, this box of two and a half inch screws, which came with 424 pieces. We got four screws left in this build, so buy the big box. Don't cheap out, buy the big box. You're gonna need it. I was a little hesitant at first, but you do need it. Uh, some quick tips, so mattresses. This right here is 13 and a half inches. If you buy a 12 inch mattress thickness, that ain't gonna work. So look at eight inch mattresses. So eight inch is gonna sit about right here which prevents your kids from rolling off. So that's quick tip number one. Quick tip number two, if you are gonna do the full on the bottom, I ran into a little issue. Issue. This does not fit a box spring. It only fits the mattress. And the reason for that is if you look up top on this full, you have the additional four inches because this two by six, it's inset. Now down here, you don't have that luxury because it stops right here. You could have notched it out but it does fit the mattress perfectly. So no box spring, just something to remember. So if you do buy a box spring, it ain't gonna fit unless you change it up. Tip number three, when you are notching your ladder out inset on this two by six, make sure you use a table. Uh, this first set over here, I did it standing up and some of my cuts were uneven and I had to chisel it out. Big pain, uh, don't do that. Um, that's my last tip to make it a little bit easier for you. But I do appreciate it, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up. Uh, this build is twin approved, isn't it? Twin approved.